critical thinking capacities, the uh, ability towards logic to understand what's going on here, the ability to to say, you know, dot A goes to dot B goes to dot C. It's just not there. But will pot will pot be Hillary's escape from the PR debacle she's gotten herself into uh, having possibly violated federal law and compromised our nation's security? Think about that. Here's the number, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Andrew, up next, listening to us on WJR in Michigan. Welcome, Andrew. Hello, sir. Hey, Austin. Good to be with you today. Likewise. Uh, I just wanted to call and make a comment about uh, one of your other callers that talked about the millennials not worried about what's going on in the country. Um, I am a millennial, and we are very concerned about what's going on. You know, myself and people, my peers, we're very concerned, but the problem we have is is we're at a point right now where everybody is just so deep in bed with everybody else in Washington that we are just waiting for that time when we look to our left and we look to our right and we see our neighbors standing in the streets with their guns ready to go back and take this country back and make it what it has always been, the great nation that it 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 is. And today it is no longer that great nation. You know, so it is, uh, listen, I, and I'm with you. You're you're right about that. It is no longer the great nation that your parents and your grandparents. Uh, well, if you're a millennial, if you're truly a millennial, it's the great nation your parents enjoyed and the great nation that your grandparents probably created. I would guess chronologically, that's what we'd be talking about with your family lineage. But Andrew, I, listen, I you know, kudos to you. God bless you for figuring this out and understanding what's going on here. It is nonetheless your generation generation, the millennials, that are so enchanted with Bernard Sanders and free college tuition, and Hillary has just followed suit with him, and it's the millennial generation that is fanning that flame of free college tuition, seemingly clueless that the federal debt is the noose around your necks. Your parents and grandparents will be dead before your generation really feels the pain of $19 trillion and counting. You do understand that, right? Absolutely. I absolutely understand that. Um, you know, it's 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 not going to be their problem. It's going to be our problem. And I agree with you wholeheartedly. You know, the first election that I was able to vote in was the election of Barry Satoro. And, uh, you know, I, I hated it. I fought it and I fought it and I fought it. And I looked around at all my peers and they're loving it. You know, I never went to college. I never I never paid for tuition. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've, I've gone out and worked with the sweat of my back to earn everything that I have. You know, well, that's what listen, the- keep working. Don't give up. But understand that the uh, your generation has itself in a horrible hole. Your parents and uh, well, your parents' generation, the boomers for sure, helped dig this hole. My generation, Gen X, helped dig it too. But your generation is digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And a change won't come. Healing won't happen, if you want to put it that way, until there's a huge awakening. Andrew, thanks for the call. Here's the number, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. By the way, Andrew and all others get to michaelsavage.com. Get his book. Order it now. The launch date, the release date is October 27th. Order it right now for the millennial in your life. It's government zero, michaelsavage.com. I'm author and columnist Austin Hill, honored to be sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. It's the Savage Nation back in moments. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. The Savage Station rolls on. Dr. Michael Savage out today. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Glad to have you with us. Take down our number and join us. It's toll free, of course, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. And we'll get to more of your calls on the way. Also, into the next half hour, wait till you hear, wait till you hear what El Presidente has said yet again, rubbing 
I, it's not salt in the open wounds. It's something far more toxic into the open wounds of the relationship between the United States and the great nation of Israel. Amid, and by the way, if you get over to michaelsavage.com, you can see the news for yourself here. I mean, we've got uh, Palestinians. Oh, the precious Palestinians. They just want peace. They just want love and joy and to get along. They just want their own country. The Palestinians have now, according to news at michaelsavage.com, uh, they have destroyed yet another artifact, another historical site that is relevant to both the Christian and Jewish faiths. They destroyed a, a historical site that belongs to the biblical historical figure, Joseph. And uh, and yet, I'll let you hear Barack Hussein Obama at a press conference today say, now, 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 Israel, you need to, you know, mind your business here. You need to play fair. Okay, this is so, so lopsided in terms of how this is being addressed and how this is being characterized. And I don't know. I I don't know. I hope and pray that there is a critical mass of us who are awake and are connecting the dots and understanding what's at stake here in our country. But the vast majority of the liberal progressives, they just don't get it. They don't see what's going on here, and uh, nor do they care much, quite frankly. They just want their free stuff. Here's something else. Speaking of the critical thinking deficit in our country, the otherwise beautiful city of San Francisco, uh, at 560 KSFO, you may be listening to us on KSFO right now, wonderful radio station, wonderful part of the country, and yet, this is a sanctuary city by definition, right? And at michaelsavage.com, we've got a story, yet another scandalous look at the sheriff of San Francisco County, Ross McMurkarami. Uh, this is a guy who oversees the sanctuary city where we saw a uh, otherwise beautiful, blonde, U.S. citizen, wonderful lady, mother of three, three small children, innocently out and about walking near Pier 39, a tourist attraction in the beautiful city by the bay. One beautiful summer day with her dad, and she's gunned down by an illegal alien. This is the sanctuary city that is San Francisco. And now at michaelsavage.com, even more disturbing news about this this sheriff, who, by the, was, oh, by the way, was elected even though he was under federal investigation for legal violations and for assault charges. Now comes news that he might not even know how to fire a gun himself. MichaelSavage.com, the news is there. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. The Savage Station rolls on. More of your calls on the way up next. Don't go anywhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. Great to have you here in the Savage Nation. Dr. Michael Savage out today. I am author and columnist Austin Hill. Glad to be sitting in. We'll get back to your calls momentarily. 855-400-SAVAGE. 855-400-7282. Lots of news is yours always at michaelsavage.com. And I'll get to uh, some of the... uh, Well, it's it's in the news today with uh, Benjamin Netanyahu having spoken at a press conference, the Prime Minister of Israel, and Barack Hussein Obama. Obama responding to Mr. Yahoo at his own press conference. Uh, but one thing, I'm, you know, we've talked so much about illegal immigration today, and rightfully so, understandably so. Uh, but uh, if you get over to Michael Savage, uh, come and sign up for the uh, Savage Nation newsletter, which is free. There's no charge. You know, it just goes right to your email inbox. There is this great story that Dr. Savage tells in the uh, the newsletter today about the kind of immigrant that America needs. And guess what? It happened. How did how did how did this meeting happen with the kind of immigrant that America needs? It happened in a a business transaction. It happened when Dr. Savage went for a ride with a freelance ride sharing services provider through uber.com. Got into a car with the guy. And um, I, I just I just get to michaelsavage.com and log on, sign up for the newsletter, and read the story. It is profound, and this is precisely the kind of immigrant that America needs. This is the precisely the kind of working family that migrated to the U.S. from which I come from. My family lineage traces back this way. So does Dr. Savage's family lineage trace back this way. 
Uh, this is what America is about. It's not just coming here to scoop up all kinds of free stuff at everybody else's expense. It's coming here to the United States of America for the opportunity. And look how people have seized the opportunity and transformed their, them, their uh, themselves and their families and their posterity and this country. That's what this is about. It's not about socioeconomic status or sexual orientation or skin color or ethnicity. It's about opportunity for all. It's in the uh, newsletter. Check it out. MichaelSavage.com. Sign up for that. By the way, we have this, and this is kind of a, you know, I guess we'd say in the news business, a developing story. Palestinians, the peace-loving thugs that they are, uh, they just want their own country, right? They're just angry because the U.S. is just a terrible place, and we had George W. Bush in the White House for eight years. That's all. It's about nonsense. There's the news right now at michaelsavage.com about Palestinians now having torched, firebombed an historical site, a historical structure that dates back to the biblical character of Joseph. If you care about the Bible, about the story of Christianity, about Christianity itself, even if you're Jewish and you care about the Judeo-Christian tradition, this should matter to you. The Palestinians want nothing of Judeo-Christian anything. They want nothing of Western heritage. They want nothing of peace with Israel and the Western world. They want what they want, and they want to destroy the rest. By the way, this is um, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of uh, Israel, speaking at a press conference today. Our State Department, under the, uh, the leadership, if you want to call it that, of Secretary of State John Kerry, our leadership, our, our Secretary of State, could not act fast enough to blame Israel, to blame Israel for the tensions between themselves and the Palestinians yet again. Why? Because Israel sees fit to defend itself, something more than our government leaders uh, will do. Uh, Here's uh, Benjamin Netanyahu calling out our federal government saying this is wrong. Listen to this. Israel is using exactly the kind of legitimate and the amount of legitimate force that any one uh, of those governments, those municipalities, and those police forces would use if they had people uh, wielding knives, meat cleavers, axes, trying to kill people on their streets. What do you think would happen in New York if you saw people rushing into crowds trying to murder people? What do you think they would do? You think they'd do anything different from what we're doing? They might, actually, but certainly not less, okay? This action, this allegation is totally false. It's utterly false. It's also utterly unfair because it's so obviously patently false. Yeah, and and Benjamin Netanyahu, just to make another observation here, this man is so astute. He is so intelligent. He is constantly, even at press conferences in his own nation's capital, is often uh, making analogies to United States of America and citing U.S. geographical locations. He was just citing there, you know, New York City. I will answer his question, by the way. What would happen if this were uh, this kind of behavior were happening in New York? I can tell you this. The NYPD would be on the spot. They wouldn't put up with this nonsense. They'd put an end to it right away. But after the fact... The Obama administration, vis-a-vis the Department of Justice, would launch an investigation and they would find that, oh, gee whiz, the assault on the would-be criminals, well, the incarceration itself was racially motivated and the police officers need to be brought up on charges and there needs to be a fine levied against the NYPD. That's how things work with this current regime in Washington, D.C. I just had to answer the prime minister's question there. He asked a very appropriate question, but that's the honest answer. It happened in the aftermath of the Boston terror attacks, the bombing of the uh, uh, the uh, b- b- the uh, Boston Marathon back a couple of years ago, that's precisely what happened. We've already had a would-be terrorist attack in Manhattan. Have we all forgotten about that? The plot to blow up Times Square, March 2010, NYPD, God bless them, they foiled that plot, not the Obama administration. The Boston Marathon bombing occurs. President Obama's uh, response is, let's not rush to judgment. The Boston PD, they knew. They had evidence. They knew that there was a risk, and federal authorities undermined them. Local cops are not the problem. It's the regime in Washington, D.C. That said... Uh, In the aftermath of uh, the Prime Minister's responses there, his uh, remarks, Dear Leader Barack Hussein Obama took to the podium in Washington, D.C. Here he is. First off, 
uh, saying that the anti-Israeli violence is kind of, sort of, maybe a little bit inappropriate. Listen to this. We condemn in the strongest possible terms uh, violence directed against innocent people uh, and believe that Israel has a right to maintain basic law and order and protect its citizens from knife attacks uh, and uh, uh, violence uh, on the streets. You hear how difficult that is, how protracted those remarks are. We believe is 